Construction at the Edgar County Detention Center is nearly finished. You'll remember with the $25 million bond, they were looking to add a massive new cell block and booking area. Today, Dana Morris got a look at how far that project has come. He joins us now. Well, Crystal, this jail expansion is massive. I'm actually told that you could fit an entire football field from end to end within the space. But more importantly, this jail expansion project is providing a major money saving benefit to the county, and it's also making life easier for inmates. Inside the Ector County Detention Center, the recently constructed 5,000 block was opened in 2020, and according to Captain Stephen McNeil, has been gradually utilized. Maximum security. Not everybody that you'll see over there, if, if you have an opportunity to go back there, will be all maximum security classified inmates, but the entire building is classified as maximum security. The more than $20 million expansion adds hundreds of openings to the jail, expanding the facility's maximum capacity from 667 inmates to 1,079 inmates. And with those openings, the jail is beginning to recover the cost of construction. So before we had to farm out inmates into other counties. We had multiple contracts throughout the state of Texas where they were housing inmates for Ector County, and that was costing the Ector County taxpayers a lot of money. Previous to opening the new block, Ector County at times could have several hundred inmates housed at jails across Texas. Well, so on average, the, the facilities were charging about $50 a day per inmate. So if you had 200 inmates out, that gets real expensive fast. For inmates, Captain McNeil says, staying local can make at least one aspect of their incarceration a little bit easier. When they visit with their attorneys for their court cases, it's a whole lot better if they're here in Hector County as opposed to them being housed five hours away in another community. And as far as ending up behind bars, staying in Hector County is one of the safest jails in Texas in managing COVID. Currently, the jail has zero COVID patients despite housing more than 700 inmates. And at the facility's biggest spike, the outbreak only reached 19 inmates at one time. And we worked very closely with the Ector County Health Department. We worked closely with emergency management. We followed guidelines from the World Health Organization, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And collectively, with all those bright minds put together, we came up with a strategy that's been very effective. And I'm told the new booking center is expected to be open in just a couple of months, wrapping up this major improvement project. Reporting in Hector County, Dana Morris, News West 9, back to you.